Third party is a term used in the United States for American political parties other than the Republican and Democratic parties. Current U.S. third parties This list does not include political organizations that do not run candidates for office but otherwise function similarly to third parties. For non-electoral political parties, see here. Topic. Largest voter registration over 100,000 Libertarian Party, Libertarianism, Laissez-faire, Pro-Civil Liberties, Anti-War Green Party, Green Politics, Socialism, Anti-Capitalism, Progressivism, Pro-Civil Liberties, Anti-War Smaller parties by ideology This section includes only parties that have actually run candidates under their name in recent years. Right-wing This section includes any party that advocates positions associated with American conservatism, including both old right and new right tendencies. America's Party Constitution Party Independent American Party State Only Parties Alaskan Independence Party Conservative Party of New York State Topic. Centrist This section includes any party that is independent, populist, or any other that either rejects right-left politics or doesn't have a party platform. American Solidarity Party Citizens Party Modern Whig Party Reform Party of the United States of America United States Pirate Party Unity Party of America Veterans Party of America State Only Parties American Party of South Carolina Moderate Party of Rhode Island Independence Party of Minnesota Independent Party of Delaware Independent Party of Oregon United Utah Party Topic. Left wing This section includes any party that has a left liberal, progressive, social democratic, democratic socialist or Marxist platform. Communist Party USA Freedom Socialist Party Party for Socialism and Liberation Peace and Freedom Party Justice Party USA Socialist Action Socialist Equality Party Socialist Alternative Socialist Party USA Socialist Workers Party Workers World Party Working Families Party State Only Parties Liberal Party of New York Liberty Union Party Vermont Oregon Progressive Party United Independent Party Massachusetts Vermont Progressive Party Topic Ethnic nationalism This section includes parties that primarily advocate for granting special privileges or consideration to members of a certain race, ethnic group, religion etc. American Freedom Party Black Riders Liberation Party National Socialist Movement New African Black Panther Party also included in this category are various parties found in and confined to Indian reservations, almost all of which are solely devoted to the furthering of the tribes to which the reservations were assigned. An example of a particularly powerful tribal nationalist party is the Seneca Party that operates on the Seneca Nation of New York's reservations. Topic. Single issue, protest-oriented. This section includes parties that primarily advocate single-issue politics though they may have a more detailed platform or may seek to attract protest votes rather than to mount serious political campaigns or advocacy. Humane Party Legal Marijuana Now Party Objectivist Party Prohibition Party United States Marijuana Party State Only Parties California National Party Hawaii Independence Party Latino Vote Party Massachusetts Natural Law Party Michigan New York State Right to Life Party Rent is Too Damn High Party New York 
World Citizens Party, Massachusetts. Topic: Notable elections. A number of third party, independent, and right in candidates have performed well in many U.S. elections. Greens, Libertarians, and others have elected state legislators and local officials. The Socialists had 600 mayors at one time before World War I, including Milwaukee, Wisconsin, New Haven, Connecticut, Reading, Pennsylvania, and Schenectady, New York. There have been 20th century governors elected as independents, and from such parties as Progressive, Reform, Farmer Labor, Populist, and Prohibition. There were others in the century before. However, the United States has had a two-party system for over a century. The winner-take-all system for presidential elections and the single-seat plurality voting system for congressional elections have over time created the two-party system Third-party candidates sometimes win elections. For example, such a candidate has won a U.S. Senate election twice since 1990. Sometimes a national officeholder not affiliated with and endorsed by one of the two major parties is elected. Currently, there are only two U.S. Senators, Angus King and Bernie Sanders, who are neither Democratic nor Republican, while no U.S. Representative hails from outside the major parties. Although third-party candidates rarely actually win elections, they can have an effect on them. If they do well, then they are often accused of having a spoiler effect. Sometimes, they have won votes in the Electoral College, as in the 1832 presidential election. They can draw attention to issues that may be ignored by the majority parties. If such an issue finds acceptance with the voters, one or more of the major parties may adopt the issue into its own party platform. Also, a third party may be used by the voter to cast a protest vote as a form of referendum on an important issue. Third parties may also help voter turnout by bringing more people to the polls. Third party candidates at the top of the ticket can help to draw attention to other party candidates down the ballot, helping them to win local or state office. In 2004, the U.S. electorate consisted of an estimated 43% registered Democrats and 33% registered Republicans, with independents and those belonging to other parties constituting 25%. The only three U.S. presidents without a major party affiliation were George Washington, John Tyler, and Andrew Johnson, and only Washington served his entire tenure as an independent. Neither of the other two were ever elected president in their own right, both being vice presidents who ascended to office upon the death of a president, and both became independents because they were unpopular with their parties. John Tyler was elected on the Whig ticket in 1840 with William Henry Harrison but was expelled by his own party. Johnson was the running mate for Abraham Lincoln, who was re-elected on the National Union ticket in 1864. It was a temporary name for the Republican Party. Currently Bill Walker of Alaska is the only independent governor in the United States, having defeated incumbent Republican Sean Parnell in the 2014 gubernatorial election. He is also the first independent governor since Alaska became a state although not the first third-party governor. Topic. Barriers to third-party success Topic. Winner take all versus proportional representation In winner-take-all or plurality-take-all, the candidate with the largest number of votes wins, even if the margin of victory is extremely narrow or the proportion of votes received is not a majority. Unlike in proportional representation, runners-up do not gain representation in a first-past-the-post system. In the United States, systems of proportional representation are uncommon, especially above the local level, and are entirely absent at the national level. In presidential elections, the majority requirement of the Electoral College, and the constitutional provision for the House of Representatives to decide the election if no candidate receives a majority, serves as a further disincentive to third-party candidacies. In the United States, if an interest group is at odds with its traditional party, it has the option of running sympathetic candidates in primaries. If the candidate fails in the primary and believes he or she has a chance to win in the general election he or she may form or join a third party. Because of the difficulties third parties face in gaining any representation, third parties tend to exist to promote a specific issue or personality. Often, the intent is to force national public attention on such an issue. Then, one or both of the major parties may rise to commit for or against the matter at hand, or at least weigh in. 
H. Ross Perot eventually founded a third party, the Reform Party, to support his 1996 campaign. In 1912, Theodore Roosevelt made a spirited run for the presidency on the Progressive Party ticket, but he never made any efforts to help progressive congressional candidates in 1914, and in the 1916 election, he supported the Republicans. Topic. Ballot access laws Nationally, ballot access laws are the major challenge to third-party candidacies. While the Democratic and Republican parties usually easily obtain ballot access in all 50 states in every election, third parties often fail to meet criteria for ballot access, such as registration fees. Or, in many states, they do not meet petition requirements in which a certain number of voters must sign a petition for a third party or independent candidate to gain ballot access. In recent presidential elections, Ross Perot appeared on all 50 state ballots as an independent in 1992 and the candidate of the Reform Party in 1996. Perot, a multimillionaire, was able to provide significant funds for his campaigns. Patrick Buchanan appeared on all 50 state ballots in the 2000 election, largely on the basis of Perot's performance as the Reform Party's candidate four years prior. The Libertarian Party has appeared on the ballot in at least 46 states in every election since 1980, except for 1984 when David Berglund gained access in only 36 states. In 1980, 1992, 1996, and 2016 the party made the ballot in all 50 states and D.C. The Green Party gained access to 44 state ballots in 2000 but only 27 in 2004. The Constitution Party appeared on 42 state ballots in 2004. Ralph Nader, running as an independent in 2004, appeared on 34 state ballots. In 2008, Nader appeared on 45 state ballots and the D.C. ballot. For more information see Ballot Access Laws. Topic debate rules Presidential debates between the nominees of the two major parties first occurred in 1960, then after three cycles without debates, took place again in 1976 and have happened in every election since. Third party or independent candidates have been included in these debates in only two cycles. Ronald Reagan and John Anderson debated in 1980, but incumbent President Carter refused to appear with Anderson, and Anderson was excluded from the subsequent debate between Reagan and Carter. Debates in other state and federal elections often exclude independent and third-party candidates, and the Supreme Court has upheld such tactics in several cases. The Commission on Presidential Debates CPD, is a private company. Independent Ross Perot was included in all three of the debates with Republican George H. W. Bush and Democrat Bill Clinton in 1992, largely at the behest of the Bush campaign. His participation helped Perot climb from 7% before the debates to 19% on Election Day. Perot was excluded from the 1996 debates despite his strong showing four years prior. In 2000, revised debate access rules made it even harder for third-party candidates to gain access by stipulating that, besides being on enough state ballots to win an electoral college majority, debate participants must clear 15% in pre-debate opinion polls. This rule remained in place for 2004, when as many as 62 million people watched the debates, and has continued being in effect as of 2008. The 15% criterion, had it been in place, would have prevented Anderson and Perot from participating in the debates they appeared in. Topic major party marginalization A third party candidate will sometimes strike a chord with a section of voters in a particular election, bringing an issue to national prominence and amount a significant proportion of the popular vote. Major parties often respond to this by adopting this issue in a subsequent election. After 1968, under President Nixon the Republican Party adopted a «Southern strategy» to win the support of conservative Democrats opposed to the civil rights movement and resulting legislation and to combat third parties with Southern agendas. This can be seen as a response to the popularity of segregationist candidate George Wallace who gained 13.5% of the popular vote in the 1968 election for the American Independent Party. In 1996, both the Democrats and the Republicans agreed to deficit reduction on the back of Ross Perot's popularity in the 1992 election. This severely undermined Perot's campaign in the 1996 election. 
Topic see also third party members of the United States House of Representatives Electoral College United States Independent Politics Political Party Political Parties in the United States Proportional Representation Third Party Canada Third Party Politics Voting Rights Topic References Topic Further reading Topic Surveys Epstein David A 2012 Left Right Out The History of Third Parties in America Arts and Letters Imperium Publications ISBN 978-0-578-10654-0 Gillespie, J. David. Challengers to Duopoly, Why Third Parties Matter in American Two-Party Politics University of South Carolina Press, 2012 Green, Donald J. Third Party Matters, Politics, Presidents, and Third Parties in American History Prager, 2010. Hernson, Paul S. and John C. Green, eds. Multiparty Politics in America Roman and Littlefield, 1997 Hesseltine, William B. Third Party Movements in the United States 1962, Brief Survey Hicks, John D. The Third Party Tradition in American Politics, Mississippi Valley Historical Review 20 1933, 3-28, in JSTOR Krushke, Earl R. Encyclopedia of Third Parties in the United States ABC Clio, 1991, Ness, Emanuel and James Seamont, eds. Encyclopedia of Third Parties in America 4 Vol. 2006 Richardson, Darcy G. Others, Third Party Politics from the Nation's Founding to the Rise and Fall of the Greenback Labor Party. Vol. 1. iUniverse, 2004. Rosenstone, Stephen J., Roy L. Baer, and Edward H. Lazarus. Third Parties in America, Citizen Response to Major Party Failure 2nd ed. Princeton University Press, 1996 Schlesinger, Arthur Meyer Jr. ed. History of U.S. Political Parties 1973 Multivolume compilation includes essays by experts on the more important third parties, plus some primary sources Cyphery, Micah L. Spoiling for a Fight, Third Party Politics in America Routledge, 2002 Topic Scholarly studies Abramson Paul R., John H. Aldrich, Phil Paolino, and David W. Road. Third Party and Independent Candidates in American Politics, Wallace, Anderson, and Perot, Political Science Quarterly 110 349-67 Argersinger, Peter H. The Limits of Agrarian Radicalism, Western Populism and American Politics University Press of Kansas, 1995 Berg, John C. Beyond a Third Party, The Other Minor Parties in the 1996 Elections, in the State of the Parties, The Changing Role of Contemporary American Parties Ed. by Daniel M. Shea and John C. Green, 3rd ed. Roman and Littlefield, 1998, pp. 212 to 28. Berg, John C. Spoiler or Builder: The Effect of Ralph Nader's 2000 Campaign on the U.S. Greens in the State of the Parties: The Changing Role of Contemporary American Parties, 4th ed. 2003, edited by John C. Green and Rick Farmer, pp. 323 to 36. Brooks, Corey M. Liberty Power, Anti-Slavery Third Parties and the Transformation of American Politics University of Chicago Press, 2016, 302 pp. Burden, Barry C. Ralph Nader's Campaign Strategy in the 2000 U.S. Presidential Election, American Politics Research 33 2005, 672-99. Carlin, Diana B., and Mitchell S. McKinney, eds. The 1992 Presidential Debates in Focus 1994, includes Ross Perot Chase, James, 1912, Wilson, Roosevelt, Taft and Debs, The Election That Changed the Country 2009, Darcy, James. The Legend of Eugene Debs, Prophetic Ethos as Radical Argument, Quarterly Journal of Speech 74 1988, 434-52. Gould, Louis L. Four Hats in the Ring, The 1912 Election and the Birth of Modern American Politics 2008, Hazlitt, Joseph. The Libertarian Party and Other Minor Political Parties in the United States McFarland and Company, 1992, Hogan, J. Michael. Wallace and the Wallaceites, A Reexamination, Southern Speech Communication Journal 50, 1984, 24-48. On George Wallace in 1968 Jelen, Ted G. Ed. Ross for Boss, The Perot Phenomenon and Beyond State University of New York Press, 2001, Koch, Jeffrey. The Perot Candidacy and Attitudes Toward Government and Politics. Political Research Quarterly 51, 1998, 141-53. Koch, Jeffrey. 
Political Cynicism and Third Party Support in American Presidential Elections. American Politics Research 31, 2003, 48-65. Lee, Michael J. The Populist Chameleon, The People's Party, Huey Long, George Wallace, and the Populist Argumentative Frame. Quarterly Journal of Speech 2006, 355-78. Maori, George E. Theodore Roosevelt and the Progressive Movement 1946, on 1912 Rapoport, Ronald B., and Walter J. Stone. Three's a Crowd, The Dynamic of Third Parties, Ross Perot, and Republican Resurgence University of Michigan Press, 2005 Richardson, Darcy G. Others, Third Parties During the Populist Period 2007-506 pp. Richardson, Darcy G. A. Toast to Glory, The Prohibition Party Flirts with Greatness 59 pp. Roller, Lloyd. Conservative Appeals to the People, George Wallace's Populist Rhetoric. Southern Communication Journal 64 316-22. Roller, Lloyd. George Wallace, Conservative Populist Prager, 2004. Rosenfeld, Lawrence W. George Wallace Plays Rosemary's Baby. Quarterly Journal of Speech 55, 1969, 36-44. Ross, Jack. The Socialist Party of America, A Complete History 2015-824 pp. Shepard, Ryan Michael. Deeds Done in Different Words, A Genre-Based Approach to Third-Party Presidential Campaign Discourse. PhD Dissertation, University of Kansas 2011, online. Topic. External links The Importance of Ballot Access, Essay by Richard Winger Ballot Access News, Ballot Access News on All Parties Free and Equal, Election Reform to End Partisan Duopoly Independent Political Report, Frequently Updated Source for Third Party News